All right, so let's talk about some of the practical things that we can do to help promote literacy, either in our homes or in our professions. So Carolyn, you were talking about how that even at the graduate school level, and even at the professional level, there are individuals who struggle with reading and writing. So what practical thing do you suggest to them? Well, again, at the professional level, it's a lot of it is writing, mm -hmm. a means to communicate ideas. And what I would say very practically is that people need to mentor other people, show them how to write a letter, give them a sample of a writer, sit down with them and say you, you can't structure a sentence this way. You have to have a stronger sentence. But I think that's you know just sort of the top of it. I think there needs to be a greater emphasis in writing. And, and I'm in the business department, but as I tell my student, if you cannot communicate in formal business English writing, you're not going to get your loan. You're not going to be successful in your business. So I think it has to be throughout the case, not just at the graduate level, but starting truly at the homes, the elementary school, all the way up, there needs to be a greater emphasis on writing formal English. Formal English. Now, Bonnie, in the classroom, what are some Brandy. practical... Brandy, I'm sorry. Okay. I am on a roll today. <laughs> it's okay. Brandy, what, are some, what is a practical thing that you suggest to your students? Well, I was thinking more along the lines, I have four children, three of them are teenagers, and of them, their reading levels are you know, extremely high, 90 percentile and above, 95 and above. And so all I can think that I did when they were little mm -hmm. um, is that I, I created space for them and I encouraged completely unplugging for periods of time every day, at least two to three hours, no television, no radio. Is that something you also suggest to your students as well? It is, mm -hmm. as well as, you know, um, a lot of them, they will admit to me, my my granddaughter or my daughter helped me write my paper is that okay mm -hmm. and you know they may feel a little guilty and i said well it it's okay this time uh, but next time don't allow them to write your paper right you take the lead in right the let them help you edit it after you've put your hard work into it first. And then of course you know, especially at ccc there are writing labs and things of that nature that provide assistance Absolutely. eileen and richard practical things I think, picking up on what Brandy just said, uh, I used to give to my boys uh, things that I wrote and ask them to criticize it <laughs> because I wanted them to, to learn how to take criticism. Oh. The other thing is, uh, I, I think that's terribly important, along with what everyone has said, is at the dinner table or the lunch table or the breakfast nook, talk about, the adult talks about what they've read. Mm -hmm. They're modeling that this is important and why. Oh, they don't so have to give a lecture. To model. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't give a lecture, but they talk about it and, and it, it means for a competitive environment because you can a turn and ask your kid uh, for their comments on something. And they've got opinions, trust me. Oh they yes, <laughs> oh yes. And financial literacy is a good thing to work with kids on because they can, uh, one of the schools I went to, the kids didn't know the difference between deposit and withdrawal. So we defined them and, you know, executed a way of getting a financial statement up for them. And I think it's a good way to, for them practically, to figure out what it is they're responsible for now and in the future. So that's one of the things. And then on another level and on the grade school level, again, to put up a word wall in the house of the words that I used today that are different than I used yesterday and give them times to talk about it and give them an opportunity to use it in a sentence. And and just Go to ahead. add to that, I know I've turned our home into a classroom, and I had learned, uh, I think by watching some movie, ironically, that actually your uh, windows make great dry erase boards. That's right. right. They do. And so I know we would do that in the home as well, too. The other practical thing I think I would throw out there is it's important to have that culture of reading, right? And so for us, we would make sure that part of the routine of doing homework is we had a routine um, that when we picked you up from school, we went straight to the library to do the first hour of homework. If you finished your homework, I don't care what you did. You could walk around the library, but eventually you need to come back to the seat with a book. So, it's an, uh, so I really appreciate everyone sharing that. If anyone else has any ideas, feel free to join us on Facebook. Thank you all, and we'll Thank look you. forward Thank to you. seeing you again. Thank you.